and Miller first at six o'clock. The Housing Authority of Myrtle Beach says it needs more landlords to work with as it helps people find an affordable place to live. News 13's Matt Fortin is live in Myrtle Beach right now as the agency prepares to reopen its wait list for rent help. Matt. Yeah, and Megan, Bob, the Housing Authority of Myrtle Beach is pre preparing to reopen that wait list for the Housing Choice Voucher Program. That'll happen in about a month, and that is the first time it's been opened in almost three years. Still, the biggest roadblock this agency faces is finding enough landlords to work with. Carol McCall at the Housing Authority of Myrtle Beach says she faces horrible demand ahead of opening up pre-applications for the Housing Choice wait list on January 10th. You're constantly getting calls and emails and people coming in looking to be on the list. Last time it was opened in 2019, the office got 4,000 applications and did a lottery to put 1,000 on the wait list. It will do the same this time around. We're expecting to get at least as many this time, if not more. Housing Choice vouchers help people with low income pay rent in eligible housing. McCall says her office needs more buy-in from landlords so voucher holders have more options. She says there's still a stigma around the vouchers. Whether it's because they may have had one bad tenant, but you can have one bad market tenant too. Then again, this is the only guaranteed rent in town. McCall hopes that Myrtle Beach will get more vouchers. Another major need, she says, is building more affordable housing units as demand for housing in the area spikes. It's really nice when you drive down the road and you see a complex go up, but most of those are not affordable, nor are they available to voucher holders. There's just not enough units. And on my story tonight on WBTW.com, all the details you need to apply if you need help paying rent once that application window opens next month. For now, we're live in Myrtle Beach. Matt Fortin, News 13. Thanks a lot, Matt.